Hi students, this particular video is uh, the part 3 of factors affecting or influencing the rate and extent of corrosion. So before going to watch this particular video, please do watch the part 1 and part 2 of this particular factors affecting the rate and extent of corrosion, so which has been given in the uh, description. So in the part 3, we are going to discuss about 3 sub-factors which comes under the category of uh, the nature of the metal which is the broad category which affects the rate and extent of corrosion. So that one, a first one is uh, the over voltage. So over voltage is actually the fourth sub-factor which comes under the category of uh, the main factor that is nature of the metal which affects or influences the rate and extent of corrosion. So over voltage. So over voltage. So don't be under a impression that over voltage means increase in the voltage. It was over, right? So over voltage doesn't mean that over increase in the voltage. Over voltage means either increase or decrease in the voltage under the new conditions developed. Over voltage means either increase or decrease in the voltage of the metal under the new conditions develop. And the scientist came to a conclusion or authentication that over voltage is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. Over voltage yeah, is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. Rate and extent of corrosion. Now we have to discuss based upon which criteria they that is the scientists uh, come to a conclusion that over voltage is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion that we have to discuss. So in order to give the relationship between or in order to make the relationship between over voltage and rate and extent of corrosion what the scientists it is. They have conducted one experiment. So in that particular experiment, they have taken one beaker and they have half filled the beaker with the one molar sulfuric acid solution and they have immersed the zinc rod in it. They have immersed the zinc rod in it. Whenever they have immersed the zinc rod in the one molar sulfuric acid solution, they found that uh, the voltage of uh, the zinc metal was found to be 0 0.7 volt. 0 0.7 volt. Now what they did is they have added, they have added copper sulfate solution to it. When they have added copper sulfate, they have added the copper sulfate solution means what? Uh, they added the copper sulfate solution to one molar sulfuric acid solution. So when uh, they have added the copper sulfate to this one molar sulfuric acid solution, the new condition is developed. Because initially it was only the one molar sulfuric acid. But uh, whenever the copper sulfate uh, has been added to this particular one molar sulfuric acid solution, the new condition has been developed. When the new condition has been developed, then they found that the over voltage of the zinc rod was reduced from 0 0.7 to 0 0.33 volt. 0 0.7 to 0 0.33 volt. Now, when initially there was no copper sulfate, the over voltage was found to be zinc. Over voltage of the zinc rod was, was found to be 0 0.7 volt. When it was 0 0.7 volt, the corrosion rate, the corrosion rate was less. The corrosion rate was less. But whenever they have added the copper sulfate to this one molar sulfuric acid solution, uh, the new condition has been developed by which the over voltage has been dropped from 0 0.7 volt to 0 0.33. Whenever the over voltage was dropped from 0 0.7 volt to 0 0.33, they have observed that corrosion rate, corrosion rate has increased, has increased corrosion rate has been increased. So 0 0.7 is 
more value when compared to 0.3. So when the over voltage was 0.7, corrosion rate was less. So one is high, another is less. When the over voltage was dropped from 0.7 volt to 0.33 volt under the new condition developed, then the corrosion rate was increased. Now when the over voltage is less, corrosion rate is more. So less, more, more, less. So less, more, more, less means what? Inversely relation. That is inverse relation. So based upon this particular, based upon uh, this particular uh, experiment, uh, they have authenticated uh, that over voltage is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion because, because initially, Whenever the zinc rod was immersed or deployed in the pure sulfuric acid solution, they found that uh, uh, the voltage was 0 0.7, say 0.7 volt and, and the corrosion rate was less. But whenever the copper sulfate was added to the same uh, one molar sulfuric acid solution, then the 0.7 volt over voltage which was associated with the, the zinc rod has been decrease or drop to 0.33 volt whenever it was dropped to 0.33 volt uh, corrosion rate was increased when it was 0.7 corrosion rate is less whenever it has been dropped from 0.7 to 0.33 then corrosion rate has been increased more value less corrosion less value more corrosion so based upon that clearly we can say that clearly we can ascertain that uh, so definitely the over voltage is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion. So the next sub factor which comes under the category of uh, the nature of the metal is nature of the oxide film and uh, this nature of the oxide film I have clearly explained uh, in uh, the dry corrosion in the dry corrosion. So please do watch that particular video I will give the I will give that link also in the description. So, nature of the extract film already I have explained clearly that uh, four types of metal oxides are going to be formed. The one is uh, stable metal oxide, next unstable metal oxide, porous metal oxide and uh, volatile metal oxide. When uh, the stable metal oxide is formed, what happens when unstable metal oxide is formed, what happens to the rate and extra corrosion, when volatile metal oxide is formed, what happened to the corrosion, what will happen to the corrosion and when porous metal oxide is formed, what will happen to the corrosion, I have clearly explained in that particular video, I will give the link of that particular video in the description, please do watch it. Now the last sub factor which comes under the category of nature of the metal which is one of the factor, broad factor which affects or influences the rate and extent of corrosion is the uh, nature of the corroding medium. Now what do you mean by corroding medium student? Corroding medium is nothing but uh, corroding, not corroding medium, it is corroding product, product. Corroding product or corrosion product. Corroding product or corrosion product. Now, if this corrosion product, if this corrosion product is soluble in the electrolyte, for example, this is the metal, and this is the surface of the metal. This is surface of the metal. Now, let us say that the rust has been formed here. Rust has been formed, and rust is the Corrosion product. Now the rust has been formed here. Let us say that this rust is the corrosion product. So definitely the rust is a corrosion product which is obtained after the corrosion process. Whatever uh, the thing, whatever the substance which is obtained uh, after one process, definitely that is a product of that particular process. So accordingly we can say that uh, rust is the corrosion product. Now let us say that uh, H plus ions are present. Uh, on the surface of uh, this metal. When H plus ions are present on the surface of the metal and this H plus ion is a uh, corroding medium. Corroding medium means corroding medium means electrolyte. Now if this corrosive product uh, that is corrosion product uh, rust is soluble in corroding medium or electrolyte then the 
rate and extent of corrosion is more then the rate and extent of corrosion is more and if it is not soluble in the corroding medium or the electrolyte then rate and extent of corrosion is less because whenever the corrosion product is uh, soluble in the corroding medium or electrolyte so definitely definitely it will remain on the surface of uh, uh, the metal when it remain on the surface of the metal definitely it will attack uh, the further metal to undergo the corrosion whenever this corrosion product is soluble in the corroding medium so definitely it will be remain it will not go anywhere so it will be remain on the metal whenever it is the remain on the metal it influences or it forces the further portion of the metal to undergo the further corrosion so do remember students if corrosive product is soluble in the corroding medium or an electrolyte then the corrosion rate is increased on the other hand if it is insoluble in the corroding medium or uh, electrolyte then uh, the rate and extent of corrosion is decreased so this is about uh, the factors which i have explained uh, in the broad category that is nature of the metal which affects uh, the rate and uh, extent of corrosion so already have clearly explained that uh, the two broad factors uh, affects or influences the rate and extent of corrosion one is nature of metal so in the nature of metal we have discussed about the uh, galvanic series next residue area of anode and cathode purity of the metal over voltage fourth one is fifth one is uh, nature of oxide film and the last one is uh, as far as nature of the corrosive product so we have discussed uh, this particular broad category which is the nature of the metal so precisely in detail so in the next class i will explain the next category next category the next broad category which uh, influences or affects the rate and extent of corrosion that is nature of the environment and the nature of the environment uh, is uh, is is also very important but uh, within one class we can finish all the sub factors uh, which comes in the category of nature of the environment i hope you understood this thank you